Hey YouTube, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm um, working on uh, XK8. It's a Jaguar. Let me see, I'm not going to show you the number on the decal. Whoop. All right. You saw a little bit, but anyway, it's a Jaguar XK8. Um, I'm doing the... Well, <laughs> I started with the timing. <laughs> Obviously it went a little bit uh, farther than the timing. But we were trying to uh, take a job from someone else that uh, uh, did some work on the car and it didn't turn up good. We did the timing on the motor, it's a V8. As you can see, you got four cylinders here, four cylinders on the other side. And the timing, uh, something happened and um, the guy didn't put the timing right. So we got the car over here and we're going to fix the problem. After we put the heads, the timing chains, everything, adjusted uh, the camshafts that are right here. Well, you're not going to see the camshafts here, but they were, here they are. We cranked the car, the car was knocking, and I'm going to add a little uh, video in between this one and the next uh, section that will show you how the motor was knocking. Trying to figure out what was making the motor knocking, knowing that we put the timing on the right... Um, on the right adjustments um, and we check everything else that seems like it's working fine we can figure out why the car the motor is still making the knocking uh, let me pause the movie for a second and the movie the little video that's going to come after that will show you how the motor was knocking so let's pause for a second So the good news, the motor works. The bad news, something is knocking inside. It's probably uh, um, coming from uh, right bank, passenger side. I'm not sure what it is. We're going to have to uh, see if we want to dig it into it. Don't worry about the smoke, that's going to burn eventually, but uh, something on the motor doesn't sound right. Alright, so you saw how it was knocking, hopefully if I was able to do it. I'm still uh, working on my editing skills. Anyway, what we found out, we found out of course what the reason what was knocking, and it was uh, coming actually from cylinder one. This is cylinder one, I can't show you now. Let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the crankshaft a little bit and then I'm going to show you the noise that cylinder one does and um, how we found out that actually uh, that's where the knocking is coming from so hold on stay with me all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the crankshaft a little bit let me try and get it in all right now look at cylinder one I'm going to turn the crankshaft now I don't know if you saw it but there was a little delay on cylinder number one from going now, now let me show you what cylinder number one is doing when I push that. Did you hear that? You shouldn't be hearing that. That means that there is a gap somewhere either on the rod that come from the cylinder to uh, the crankshaft or on the crankshaft bearings themselves. I'm kind of more suspecting that the noise, the problem is uh, with the rod that goes, the center rod that goes on the uh, cylinder itself. But let me show you again. I'm going to turn that a little bit. Now, I know you didn't see the delay, but let me show you again here. Did you see that? Did you hear that? That's uh, Alright, I had a little interruption, sorry about that. But I'm going to show you again one more time so you see that. And if you ever have a knocking sound, don't always assume that it might be a valve or something like that. So many different things in the motor and you can never actually know where the noise is coming from. But here's what I'm going to do again. I'm going to show you how I turned it. And look at the cylinder, how it's not moving on the first couple of turns you see now let's see if it starts to move all right now it's moving now let me show you one more time the gap look at that you heard that that's where the knocking sound is coming from now the purpose of this uh, video um, is to show you that you can't always make assumption that your knowledge uh, 
Um, Cause I initially thought that maybe the valves are bent and we had to take the heads out to check the valves. The valves were fine. Um, valves are actually on the other side. Let's see if I can, well, I can't do it with one hand, but uh, the valves was fine. Timing was fine. Obviously we see what the problem is now. Uh, maybe I'll do a different video when everything is uh, rebuilt and back uh, running again. Thanks for joining me. And again, that's a Jaguar. Uh, KX8. If you have any questions or you have any comments, drop me a line. And as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, and if you want, you can subscribe. Um, ask me any question you have. Thanks.